everybody, Dearly here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Charming Empire, along Kagemitsu Tokawa's route, our childhood friend. In the last episode, he helped us by rescuing us from our really mean tutor, and so hopefully now our tutor will actually be nice to us from now on. But he is one really intimidating guy around the palace. A great guy to have on your side. Let's hope he doesn't really have any terribly, terribly dark secrets here. Let's see if we'll find anything out soon. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I take out all of my materials for my lesson and wait for my tutor at my desk. But no matter how long I wait, my tutor doesn't come. That's strange. I glance at the clock again. It's already 30 minutes past our usual meeting time, and there's no sign of her. Did something happen? I spread out my things and decide to review what I learned yesterday. Let's see. The current government was set up in... I read the textbook out loud so the info stays in my head. Now she won't be disappointed if there's another test. Kagemitsu was acting strangely yesterday. He's usually such a nice person, but he really stood up against my tutor. I guess he is my brother's right-hand man. I'm so glad he saved me yesterday. Just as I get back to my studies, there's a quiet knock at my door. Come in. Looks like my tutor's here. I won't disappoint her today. When I sit up in my chair, Kagemitsu comes in the room, pushing a trolley with tea and treats. Sorry I'm late. Why are you here, Kagemitsu? It's time for my lesson. I give him a surprised look, but he only smiles. Are you going to be my tutor? Oh, don't worry. What do you mean? He places the tray on the table. Remember what I said yesterday? From today on, I'll teach you everything you need to know. Oh, he really is going to be my tutor. R really I can't hide my surprise. I know he said that, but isn't he busy? Besides, why did you bring tea? Studying doesn't just mean reading books. This is another kind of study. How to have proper tea time as a noble. Kagemitsu elegantly pours me a cup of Earl Grey and hands it to me. Yes, I must learn to pour tea as elegantly as he can. Here's your study tool. This tea? I curiously take the cup. What is he trying to teach me? Uh, okay. I bow to Kagemitsu with a cup in my hand. I have no idea what he's thinking, but I'm a little relieved yesterday's scary teacher isn't coming. Here's your first question. Does anything strike you about that cup in your hand? Kagemitsu points at my teacup. Strike me? Um... I quickly look at the cup and try to come up with an answer. It doesn't matter which one we choose, so I'm going to say it wasn't made in this country. It looks different from our traditional teacups, so... It wasn't made in this country? Correct. Well done. Oh, good. I got it right. I breathe a sigh of relief. And just as you said, this cup was made abroad. The cup you drank from yesterday was modeled after this one, but made here. Wow. I never held anything foreign before. So this was made in another country. I carefully gaze at the elaborately decorated cup. It's nice to see a design I've never seen before. I love everything this country makes, but foreign things look so classy. I stand up from my chair and take the cup to the window so I can see it in the light. It's beautiful. The sunlight reflects off the cup's white surface, making the flowers look like they're about to pop right off. The flowers really look like they're blooming. I'm so immersed in the cup that I trip on a chair leg. Oh no. Oops. Oh, watch out. Kagemitsu grabs my arm and pulls me toward him before I can fall. But I broke the teacup, didn't I? Are you alright? Are you hurt anywhere? N no I'm okay. I suddenly find myself in Kagemitsu's arms. Oh, the cup! I quickly look down at the cup in my hands. The Earl Grey spilled out, but the cup isn't cracked anywhere. Ah, oh, good. Thank goodness. Then I looked up and see the tea stain on Kagemitsu's kimono. I'm so sorry! Your kimono is stained! I must have spilled my cup when I tripped. I have to do something. I quickly pull out my handkerchief and hold it out to him. <laughs> yeah, that's going to help a lot. Here, use my handkerchief. The tea is already spreading through the fabric, but the handkerchief is better than nothing. Sorry, don't worry about me. I'm glad you're alright. I didn't want you to get burned. But your kimono got ruined thanks to me. At this rate, it's going to stain. I don't want to upset him after all the trouble he took to bring me tea. 
I try to get him to accept my handkerchief. It was my own choice to pull you toward me. If you're trying to add the tea with your handkerchief, it'll just get dirty. But he won't take it. At this rate, it's really going to turn into a stain. I muster up the courage to lean forward and use my handkerchief to dab at his kimono. In futility? I must look shameless doing this, but... I can't just let Kagumitsu get a stain on his clothes. I hide my embarrassment and continue to wipe. It, it's really not a problem. I don't want your cute handkerchief to get dirty. Oh, it's making him blush. I don't care about my handkerchief. Handkerchiefs are supposed to get dirty anyway. Kagemitsu looks at me in surprise and suddenly bursts out laughing. <laughs> well, what's so funny? I looked up at him in confusion. <laughs> Sorry for laughing. I didn't think you'd tell me the same thing. The same thing as who? Did someone else say this too? Who told you the same thing? Soshi. My brother did? One day Soshi said the exact same thing you're saying now. I don't remember when it was, but one day my hand slipped and I broke a cup. S sorry Lord Soshi. I'll clean up the broken cup and bring you a new one. Don't worry about that. Your kimono is all wet. Don't worry about my kimono. Let me get you a new cup of tea. You can do that later. Wipe your kimono first. Don't use your handkerchief. It'll get dirty. I don't care about my handkerchief. Handkerchiefs are meant to get dirty anyway. <laughs> Who'd think you would say the same thing? You might not be related by blood, but you're still your brother's sister. Did we hear it from one of our parents, maybe? Kagemitsu has a nostalgic look in his eye, as if he's thinking back to that day with Soshi. I didn't think my brother would say something like that. Kagemitsu's story comes as a surprise. I didn't think he was the type. He might have been kind when we were kids, but he's completely different now. I doubt he'd say something like that now. Then... Kagemitsu smiles awkwardly. Well, I understand how you feel, but he wasn't this cold a few years ago. And he wouldn't have tried to shut you in your room like this. Kagemitsu's face clouds over, and he gazes at the ground. Kagemitsu. Oh, I wonder when Soshi changed so much. He shakes his head sadly. Here I was by his side, and I didn't notice the change. It's not your fault. Kagemitsu has a tormented look on his face. It's painful to see him like this. I wonder what happened to Soshi and what's going through his head. Ah, oh, these are short, short chapters. Alright, I'm sorry that was a short video, but... Hmm. I wish I could cram another one here, but I just don't know if it, how long it's going to be. Alright, so sorry, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Uh, did Ka does Kagemitsu really not know why Soshi changed? Ugh, I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Well, anyway, hope to see you in that next episode or some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.